Hello and welcome by EA's art channel. Uh, my name is Ilkan Wiesma and today I have a little uh, different setup as usual. I'm just trying uh, things out because I thought it would be nice to talk about uh, the paintings a little bit more. So therefore I have now have it in shot and I can uh, point some things out before I uh, will start the actual tutorial. And also it is kind of nice because this is also a special painting. Uh, it's all about um, uh, about uh, this guy, this god. It is uh, Mananan MacLear. And um, I'm painting this. Uh, um, uh, this painting is inspired by uh, one of the stories that my husband is uh, currently working on. And so therefore I um, yeah, worked my version of a painting. I uh, le uh, let you see some elements that I think are very important when, you, when we talk about Manana McLear. And uh, first of all, uh, let me talk about a little bit about, about his eyes. Uh, they may kind of look a little bit scary because um, Manana McLear um, let us show our, our fear. So if we have fear for whatever reason, uh, he can help us to get rid of the fear and well at least start with uh, knowing the fear that you have and uh, facing your fear that is probably the most um, biggest achievement as uh, as people as we can have just facing our fear because we as soon as we face our fear and we understand our fear we can work with it so therefore the eyes he you cannot walk around him. He is watching you, and that is very clear. I think if you uh, look in those eyes, they are following us wherever we go. And uh, also the sharks. The sharks are uh, very strong animals. Uh, also, uh, I think we have uh, a lot of respect for sharks because of they can be very dangerous. But those are a very uh, that, um, in direct contact with uh, with Manana McLear. Uh, so therefore I painted those in and while I was painting uh, I started uh, seeing this face and I think it's uh, his daughter, his, his, his oldest daughter um, and so therefore I uh, thought it would be nice to work her out so I don't, didn't have a picture for her, she just was there and I needed uh, um, to paint her in and she's a little bit uh, softer, she's a little bit, uh, yeah, uh, she may appear a little bit kinder as her father. Her father is also good willing, don't get me wrong, but he's very clear in his messages. So, and she would be uh, be, uh, be a little bit softer in pronouncing um, or uh, letting you know what, what, uh, what, what probably your, uh, what your fears are and how to deal with them. So that's, that's a little bit the contrast between uh, father and daughter. And here we have a boat. It's uh, it's sunk to the bottom of the sea, and the boat is calling uh, called fear, and that is uh, symbolic for uh, let go uh, of your fears as much as we can because we we don't need fear. We need um, it will bring will not bring you happiness or in any kind. So if you can let uh, go of those boats, let them sunk to the ocean of the sea because we don't need them. Um, so that's basically the story of this painting and I thought it would be nice to do it as an intro and now I'm going to talk further about the uh, actual tutorial. So let's start painting. And for this painting I used quite a lot of that aqua green bluish color which I personally like and um, I just used some, uh, some black and white uh, to mix in with that color and that's basically the color, uh, my main color that I'm using for, the, for this painting. Um, and also, uh, you see me switch here uh, in uh, camera positions. I'm just uh, trying out the, the best setting because I did a change uh, here in my studio. But uh, we will, I think we will go back to the uh, original setting on the uh, left hand side, side of, my, uh, of me. And uh, I'm just starting in uh, filling in uh, my uh, canvas with a basic layer of acrylics. Then I uh, grab my uh, airbrush, as you can see here, and I may, may that, uh, make that strange straight of light going down uh, into the water. And I like to um, over uh, yeah overexpose that a little bit because I personally like the effect it will give me uh, in the painting. And uh, also now I'm painting on the uh, ocean floor and there is also some uh, light reflecting uh, from the water. And if you hear some background noises uh, while I'm recording is uh, you can hear uh, the gooses outside. I'm sorry for that, but I, <laughs> I hope they are not uh, too uh, distracted. And now we're back to the uh, original camera setting. I think this is a little bit easier for me because I'm uh, right-handed and the camera is now hanging over my left uh, shoulder. So therefore it's a little bit easier. I have a little bit more room to, uh, to move. 
and I'm just now uh, filling in uh, the areas where I think uh, sh uh, things should go. And um, yes, yeah, so just basically blocking in. And what I've uh, found is it's very useful. I'm using here a pastel pencil, a white one. The white will um, go a little bit, uh, mix in with a, with a paint, but it doesn't show up. Uh, uh, basically, uh, yeah, of a, it hardly does show up uh, in the paint, so it uh, will not uh, change the colors uh, too dr dramatically. Um, but um, therefore I like to use a pastel painting. If I'm a little bit wrong, it erases quite easy. And for this painting I was uh, kind of a loser, so therefore I didn't need to be everything exact, because I was trying things out while I was painting anyway. So, But if I have something that needs to be very sharp, I'm drawing it out on a different piece of paper, and then I uh, trace my own drawing onto the, the canvas, so I'm uh, basically sure that every line is in the right direction. But for this painting it wasn't uh, necessary. And I'm blocking in the first uh, stones, um, big stones, um, rocks, almost. I, yeah, I think it's sort of rocks. And um, therefore, I just copy this, the, the basic shape uh, of the rocks that I'm seeing on my screen. I'm not uh, completely uh, exact with those, but I want to copy. I want to get a feel of, the, of those uh, uh, rocks into my painting and I'm just slowly building up and once again I'm uh, working with uh, most of the times with the uh, with just gray or a little bit of that uh, aqua um, color mixed in this is the basically the main color that I'm using for this painting that makes it a little bit easier to paint because you don't have to struggle with all those different colors on the other hand some people are find it a little bit difficult because uh, the difference in between uh, of making the difference between light and darks can be a little bit harder, especially in the mid-tones, because those do like uh, can like very similar to one another. So therefore, but personally, for me, it's a little bit easier. And the further away, the, the just the less detail you have. So therefore, uh, I'm painting it uh, almost solid black. I never use solid black in my paintings. I always mix a color in. Uh, with, a, with a black, but uh, yeah, that's that's basically what I'm doing here. And notice on the left hand side, the first rock, uh, there is uh, there's going to be that face, what I talked about, the face of his daughter. It isn't here yet. I didn't have a clue at this moment, but if you kind of look at it, you see the shape of the head already there. And that was uh, what I uh, was seeing uh, while I was painting, but I tried to ignore it because, yeah, I thought that I didn't draw that in. I never done it before, but um, she keep, uh, keep uh, yeah, watching me appear to me, so therefore I uh, thought, yeah, well, okay, I, I get it now. <laughs> you need to be in a painting, so therefore I painted her in. But uh, try to uh, look at it if we are... Uh, further out, um, zoomed out a little bit further and you see that rock again, you maybe uh, see the shape of her head again. But once again, I at this moment I had no idea that I would uh, want to paint her in, uh, basically. And the ship has sunk to the, sunk to, I'm sorry, sunk to the bottom of the uh, of the ocean and it needs to be uh, quite rough. It, it, it has been there for, for quite a while, so I'm not uh, making my lines very sharp. I, I keep my uh, pencil, uh, oh, sorry, my brush strokes, and they have uh, they they give me that uh, rougher structure that I need for this uh, particular boat. And once again, it, I find it very uh, very symbolic and very nice if you think about it. It's a it's a boat of fear, and uh, we don't need to fear. We just uh, try to live out uh, without fear as much as we can. I think. Um, if we can do that, if we can manage to let that happen in our lives, we are, um, I think we're going to be the happiest as we can. So therefore, I found it, uh, like I said, very uh, symbolic. Once again, notice that rock, I d you sur sort of do, do see her face, but she, uh, needs a, she will come there, but uh, like I said, in this stage, I had no clue. around this i think i'm painting in her nose there but i'm not sure yet but i think i'm around the point that i think okay yeah i know <laughs> you want to be there so therefore uh, it's kind of nice to see that uh, develop while i was uh, painting and i'm just slowly building up my textures uh, especially when you s just start out a painting it's a very uh, very hard and there's a lot of texture there but I'm glazing over and I will get rid of the texture but um, it's nice to have a little bit or more texture for example in the, in the rocks are for this uh, 
sharks to uh, have, have my, my brush strokes uh, do show up a little bit more but that's okay uh, like i said i'm going to glaze over that and it will uh, smoothen things out but you have some control you can smoothen it out quite a lot or just a little bit so you will have uh, some texture but you can change the colors uh, a bit there and i hardly use any bright light for this painting it's all mixed with that aqua green color and that is my uh, that those are my lights showing up for the exception uh, for his eyes but also for his eyes for Mana McLear's eyes I used a, a light quite a light version of that uh, uh, aqua blue color or green color it, it depends some people uh, think it's more on the blue side some people think it's more on the green side but uh, yeah that I, I will uh, stick with the aqua color And here I was thinking maybe I should paint in a neck so therefore in my stones I tried to uh, make his neck but I didn't like the look of it so I uh, later on I just painted over it and make it uh, almost uh, disappear and just keep the focus on his, uh, his eyes and um, yeah basically his face. And now I'm trying to uh, do both. I tried to copy the texture of the rocks but also um, the uh, face I had a, a, a face of a human being and that was my inspiration for uh, the shapes of, of his uh, face but also the the, um, yeah, the skin and how the skin um, yeah, looks in that picture I tried to copy that also uh, and the wrinkles in his head and that kind of stuff and um, eyebrows and those things I try to copy as much, but I still use the colors of the rocks to let it um, get, get that a feel of rocks, but also get a feel of a human uh, face. It was kind of nice. I never did that before. And I thought, well, I'm just going to try it. And I think I had a sort of image in my head. And I think I thought I, if I um, do this, I basically will be uh, come as close as, uh, as I can. And uh, in the end, I did. I had to uh, re repaint a little bit here and there. Like here, you can see I'm uh, glazing over the neck quite a bit to make it darker. Because I didn't re not completely did like uh, how it uh, turned out. So therefore, I painted over it again. But yeah, that's uh, how I came up with this idea. It's a little bit darker. I let to try to let it stand out a little bit more. His hair to to get a real that that feel of a like I said a human being, a face of a human being. But um, yeah, I, I just uh, didn't change the palette. I, I still use the same colors that were on my palette. And now I'm making those scary eyes. <laughs> Personally, I don't find them scary anymore, but I try to copy that feeling. I try to copy that feeling in my painting of somebody is watching you and you just feel those eyes burning <laughs> inside of you, sort of. That that feel I try to copy. You need just to feel him and uh, how that's how strong he is. So therefore I uh, came up with, uh, with these uh, very bright uh, eyes. So finishing up touches here and there. And now I'm uh, painting in the letters, fear, so we can let go of our fears where, uh, wherever we can. And just building up uh, here and there the light and the darks, some finishing touches here and there. Basically that's what I'm doing. Painting that light in, I had painted over that. Uh, the races of light need to be there to let the, the, the rocks go uh, further in the background. And here is the Son of the Sea, uh, inspired by Mananan Baklir. So, I hope you like this uh, tutorial. And uh, it's obviously also a little bit new for me, or qu quite new, I could say, because I uh, did photorealism and surrealism. But I try to do a more, yeah, basically fantasy art as well. I always wanted to do fantasy art, but I wasn't ready yet, uh, I think. But now I'm starting to work it out. I start to find my ways to get those images, those fantasy images on my canvases and on my, uh, my paper. So uh, I can already say there are more paintings, uh, fantasy paintings, uh, fantasy inspired paintings coming up. So um, 
I hope you like it. That doesn't mean that I d will not do photorealism anymore or surrealism. I think those three the, will uh, be my main uh, subject on my, uh, my channel. And as usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below this uh, tutorial. And uh, for now, once again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next tutorials. Bye bye.